All right, what is up, everybody? Got something extremely different for you here today. Uh, one of the most frequent questions I'm asked is, how do I edit my gameplay? How do I record my gameplay? And how do I keep that quality going on to YouTube? Um, it's very simple to record uh, HD gameplay. For today's exercise, we are using a Mac because that is what I own and that's what I use. Um, some of the tips I will be giving can be taken over to the PC though because I'm going to talk about some of the best codecs to op upload to YouTube with and some file formats that YouTube likes to use and uh, just some general tips. So if you're a PC user, this might still be uh, worth watching. But uh, we are using Mac. So first of all, what program do I use to record my Xbox gameplay? Now this also works with PS3 and it'll also work with any standard definition console. Um, I have my HD PVR hooked up right now my Xbox is on. So uh, as soon as I plug my HD PVR on or in and then turn it on um, and turn I'll turn on ITV which is made by uh, Elgato. Uh, it's a really good company so this is one of the best programs on Mac for recording gameplay. In fact I would say it is the best. So you can see here my Xbox dashboard has come up. It's asleep uh, right now and I don't feel like turning on my controller so we'll just leave it be. Um, right here you can see your library of videos. It uh, tells you the date and time. You have various options you can tweak with that. Um, this program is tailor-made to work perfectly with um, the HD PVR. So it's almost like they were made for each other. <laughs> but it, it's wonderful. This is the program I use. Basically all you do is you turn it on, you record. So we're hitting record right now. We're recording the screen right here. And then whenever you're done recording, you can turn it off. It also, also lets you have the, the ability to go back in time on a recording you've already done without actually messing with the recording. Um, that's really not so useful if you're recording gameplay. I mean, sometimes it is, but... I don't ever use it, but uh, you can see here our recording has gone into here. It is uh, 10 seconds long, you know, however, 2.2 megabytes. Now, uh, whatever you have your Xbox set in is what Elgato's ITV is going to record in. So if you have it in 720 like me, your recordings will come out in 720 with the uh, specs that you've uh, set whenever you set up your HD PVR with ITV. Now, if you have it in 1080, it'll, you know, record in 1080. If you have it in 480, it'll even record in 480. So you have various eyes, the best way to export to keep the quality. That's one of the most important things, because a lot of times exporting will, uh, you know, degrade quality. So one cool thing about ITV is that you can export it in its native format. Now, the one disadvantage of this is, is you can't use it in a lot of the more fancier editing programs. The two programs I use on Mac are iMovie and Final Cut. For iMovie, I can export it in H.264 format, and it's a lot quicker. There's no re-encoding, and I can upload or import it to iMovie without having to wait. I mean, you have to wait on it for it to thumb, you know, make the thumbnails. But other than that, you don't really have to wait on um, on your movie to process again. However, with Final Cut, my version, you have to have it in a format that it can recognize. So, therefore, you have to export it in a, you know a sort of an HD format so you actually have to um, encode it through iMovie or ITV here. So I'll show you how that's done. Um, we have this clip here which is car, car 98 second chance screws me again. Now <laughs> this actually has a clip in it that made me really mad so we're going to go ahead and um, export that and edit it in iMovie. Now yeah you can see the clip here. So there's our clip. Um, what you want to do is you want to go to export and it's going to give you various options. So right here you can see this is the native formats, which means it needs no re-encoding. <coughs> Excuse me. So for iMovie, we would normally just do an H.264. However, if we we're going to do some more advanced options, you know, like heavy heavy duty editing, more fancy editing, I would use Final Cut, and thus I would probably export it in the HDV 720p format because that's that's a nice format for i for uh, Final Cut. Um, it's the Apple codec, so it works perfectly with it. Um, I usually never use any of these just because it takes longer to encode and it also is just, I don't really like the way it comes out for quality wise. It often degrades it. So I usually stick to this one right here because it works it works good with um, Final Cut. But for today's uh, example, we're going to use iMovie. So we would export this at 8.264. Um, right now we'd save it to the desktop and hit save. But I've already actually exported this so we don't have to watch it. It literally took maybe 20 seconds to get it to the desktop depending on your processing speed because there's no re-encoding. So now that we have our movie on our desktop, we can go ahead and close ITV because we have everything we need from it. So we'll go ahead and close that there. It's being slow because I have an older Mac. And um, I've already imported that to iMovie so we don't have to sit there and watch it thumbnail. So we'll open up iMovie here. 
And as you should see here, here's our Car 98 gameplay. I uh, started, I created a new event by just going to File, Import, Movies. And what I do is I always create a new event and I always move the files because it's quicker that way. You don't have to wait for it to copy and you don't have two copies of the movie sitting on your computer. Actually, it would be three because you still have one in your iMovie archive. So that's what I did. I created the gameplay and then I just imported it. It takes, a f it takes literally no time. So for today, we're going to go ahead and start a new project and we're going to name this Car98 Gameplay. And you want to make sure you keep it in widescreen so you keep with your uh, HD format. So we'll go ahead and create this new uh, new project. And right down here you can see our movie right here. And you can scroll through it and uh, pick your whatever you want from it. Um, this isn't in a particularly good gameplay, but there is one clip that we're going to decide to use. If I can find it here. But uh, one nice thing about iMovie is, like I said, it, usually you can export really fast and you don't really have to worry about um, a degrading in quality. Okay, here it is right here. So here we found our clip that we want. Um, we'll just go ahead and take it from here and go all the way over. Second chance guy gets me. So we got about 17 seconds of clip. Now you can select all and drag it up there and do your entire thing. But uh, for today we're just going to do this. Now if I was to put commentary on it, I would just click this button right here. And that will allow me to put a voiceover on it. And that's what I use to record my commentary. And I just use my uh, Turtle Beaches to record record my uh, me talking which is what I'm using right now because it's simple and it's good quality so that's usually what I do so the voiceover parts right there but that's not really what we were worrying about today so we've got our little movie here and we can go ahead and preview it here in the in the screen as you see here I shoot this guy shoot him again he's got jug so it takes two shots plus another shot and then he goes down to the last stand and kills me so you can see how un unbalanced that is but that's the clip we're going to use for today so we have our clip and we're ready to export. Um, now if you're going to edit it, you can go in and do whatever editing you need to it. You know, add in your, your voiceover for your commentary and whatnot. But for today's example, we're just going to show you how to export it. We would go to Share and we would export it using QuickTime. Now that's the best way to do it. You can use the YouTube thing, but sometimes that doesn't give you the ideal settings for what you want to upload. So what I'll do is, sometimes I will use that on shorter videos, but for the mo most of the time I will use export using QuickTime. Now this is the most important part that we want to pay attention here to. Um, we're going to go to Options because sometimes it's not set in the right thing. What you want to have your movie exported to on, especially on Macs, not so much on PC, is you want to select MP4 and you want your video format to be the H.264 codec, or the video format is basically what it is. Um, this allows you to have the, you know, the ideal quality for uploading to YouTube and you'll have the, le the least amount of uh, you know, corruption of your quality. So make sure it's set in the, in the uh, HD format, which is right here. Sometimes it, I think it'll standard be in one of, the, one of these standard definitions. So make sure you change that. Um, your data rate can be whatever you want. For today's example, let's go 300. Let's just do 3,000 to make it a small file. So this is roughly going to be 66 megabytes. Um, and we'll keep all this stuff the same. Not really worried about audio. So I'm going to go ahead and take off a little snippet of the end of the gameplay so it'll encode or record a little bit faster. So we'll take off the end there and we'll go ahead. We have all, it'll save your settings. So what you'll want to do here is we have everything set up. We have all our settings. You know, we have it in the H.264 format and we will just save it to the desktop. And however long this takes, it really depends on your processing speed. Um, right now I am recording my screen, so it might take a little bit longer. But this is roughly how you do it in a nutshell. This will give you the best quality. It'll make it the most convenient, the quickest. Um, this is the best way I've found to edit on a Mac. I mean, you might have your own techniques and you might have some critiques the way I do it. But I do it this way. Um, like I said, you, lose, you don't lose a lot of quality, but it's also quick at the same time. So um, all you guys who've been asking me how I do it, this is how I do it. Um, it's a combination of ITV and iMovie. Um, sometimes if I'm using, uh, if I need to record audio, I will use Audacity and then export that audio file and then add it into my movie. But this is basically how I do it. Um, I will do one more tutorial probably sometime after Black Ops releases because right now I'm kind of swamped with life and, you know, <laughs> videos in general. Um, I will show you guys how to do a little bit more advanced editing. editing. Maybe we'll work with Final Cut a little bit for you guys who are montage makers. But this is for your basic commentary. This works great. 
It's HD format, easily uploaded, uploadable to YouTube. You can change your file size to what fits your bandwidth the best. So if you want a lower data rate and a smaller file, but it still have really good quality, this works perfect. I will see you guys next time. Um, if you want to see, like I said, if you want to see the next in the series, just go ahead and hit that sub button, and I will be sure to get that out in uh, less than a month probably. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.